Rottweiler vs. German Shepherd Both breeds are large, intelligent, loyal, and make loving, protective family dogs. They are easily two of the best guard dog breeds in the world. While these breeds suffer from bad reputations and have both been portrayed as violent dogs due to their intimidating stature, this couldn't be further from the truth. They may both be powerful, fearless dogs with athletic builds, but they are both highly trainable, making amazing service dogs and are even very good with kids. There are also quite a few differences between these two breeds that you will learn about in this video. So let's take a look at the most important things to know about these breeds. Number 1. Their Origins Even those who prefer small dogs can often identify a Rottweiler easily. They have a long history and are considered one of the oldest breeds in the world as they are descended from drover dogs, used by the Roman legions. Wherever the Roman Empire reigned in Europe, they utilized drover dogs to move cattle. In the second century, the Romans abandoned many of their outposts in Europe, leaving what would become the Rottweiler behind. From the Middle Ages to around 1900, the Rottweiler acted as a working dog protecting and herding cattle while still being a part of the family, especially in continental Europe. The formal history of the Rottweiler began in 1901 when the International Club for Leonbergers and Rottweiler Dogs created the first standard for the breed, making Germany the formal country of the Rottweiler, even though they did not originally come from there. On the other hand, the German Shepherd, as we now know them, didn't really appear until fairly recently. This breed was created by crossbreeding various working sheepdogs of rural Germany by an ex-cavalry officer called Max von Stefanitz. His aim was to create a working dog for herding that could also trot for long periods and studiously obey commands. Eventually, a breed standard was drawn up and the first breed show took place in 1899, firmly establishing them across Germany. Then, in 1906, the first dogs were exported to the USA. Since that time, the breed has grown enormously in popularity. It is now one of the most popular pedigree breeds in the UK and the favorite working breed for the police force. They are widely used around the world for security purposes because of their strong protective instincts. Interestingly, many people in the UK still call these dogs Alsatians, partly because when they were first bred, the Alsace region of France was part of Germany, where these dogs were prevalent. Number 2. Their Personality Rottweilers are known as gentle giants because of their bulky stature and softly aloof personality. Many people introduce Rottweilers into their homes to act as guard dogs, protect children, or keep up with active families. Even though these dogs descended from cattle driving dogs, most people prefer other working dogs for that purpose today. This is in part because modern domesticated animals don't need to be moved vast distances or protected from predators, so faster, less robust dogs like Collies are up to the task. The most impressive aspect of the Rottweiler is its adaptive intelligence. They can easily watch you or other dogs to pick up on commands or situations. Likewise, they can problem solve and learn from their own past to solve difficult problems at hand. German Shepherd dogs are also intelligent and naturally obedient. They tend to get along well with children and other pets so long as they are raised with them. Also, in keeping with their guarding instincts, they are very protective of those they consider their family and are often quite wary of strangers. It is worth noting that some poorly bred German Shepherd dogs can be highly strung and nervous. This, coupled with poor socialization and inadequate training, leads to overguarding and aggressive behavior. Number 3. Their Appearance Rottweilers are blocky dogs with massive heads. Their ears lie relatively tight to the head, hanging down somewhat. Their muscles are square and strong, but Rottweilers can be a bit drooly because of loose lips. Rottweilers are black with tan points, and the ideal coat is quite short and dense. They are also slightly longer than tall and range in height from 22 inches for a small female to 27 inches for a large male. Generally, weights go from 80 to 120 plus pounds. In contrast, German Shepherds have a more wolfish appearance and reach a maximum of about 25 inches in height and weigh up to about 95 pounds. They are well-proportioned dogs. The head is broad and tapers handsomely to a sharp muzzle. The ears are rather large and stand erect. The back is level and muscular and the tail is bushy and curves downward. The coat is thick and rough and maybe black, tan, black and tan, or gray. The coat is usually of medium length, however, long-coated individuals occur often. Do you like this video? If so, it would make our day if you would subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any new videos and can learn more about dogs every day. Number 4. Their Trainability As Rottweilers were originally bred to guard and herd cattle, it's no wonder that obedience is in their nature even after all these years. We mentioned earlier that these dogs have excellent adaptive intelligence, and it shows. These days Rottweilers excel in many canine sports, and the breed works very well with a human partner in many functional roles. They make excellent watchdogs while being generally calm and eager to learn new commands. The German Shepherd dog has no peer in versatility and obedience. 
they can be trained as herding dogs, drug dogs, attack dogs, guide dogs for the blind, and even as canine movie stars. From herding sheep to guarding military installations, the German Shepherd is able to do it all because they are so good at following orders. They combine steadiness of temper, firmness of purpose, and unswerving loyalty, making them one of the most obedient dogs in the world. Number 5. The Time Investment Needed Rottweilers are fairly easy to keep for such large dogs, and in fact, have a tendency to obesity if not exercised enough. Coat care is minimal. A quick weekly grooming will suffice most of the time. Some Rottweilers do drool a fair amount. Also, the great intelligence of Rottweilers means that they can get bored easily if left to their own devices, and so many become nuisance barkers or diggers. And with their size, they are capable of much destruction. They also require extensive and continuous socialization to make good family companions. German Shepherds are active and like to have something to do. They need ample exercise daily, otherwise they can get into mischief or become high-strung. These dogs shed heavily about twice yearly and the rest of the time sheds a lesser amount continually. To control shedding and keep the coat nice, they need a good brush at least a few times a week. Number 6. The Best Home For Them Rottweilers adore people and are very sociable. They also have a surprisingly low prey drive which means they aren't known to chase or hunt as much as other big dogs. Because of this fact, Rottweilers often get along with cats and other animals as though they were their own species. Still, the Rottweiler can turn into a bit of a beast if needed, especially when its family is in danger. The Rottweiler is known to act quickly and efficiently to keep everyone safe. This applies to the adult, children, and other pets of the household. German Shepherds are highly intelligent and will show undying devotion to their master, but they are dogs that need company and stimulation to be at their best. However, it is essential to remember that this is a working breed with specific characteristics that some people might find difficult to live with. German Shepherd dogs are better off in homes where there is a fenced-in yard for them to play in. However, it's even more important that they get enough attention and are not left alone most of the day. So what do you think so far? Do you prefer the Rottweilers and German Shepherds? Stay tuned for more! And if you are interested in other dog companions, check out some of our playlists and discover even more information about dogs. Number 7. Their Health while generally tough and healthy, Rottweilers are a breed that is often affected by hip dysplasia, a genetic deformity in which the head of the femur doesn't fit properly in the hip socket. Severe cases are extremely painful and often require surgery to correct. They are also prone to developing heart problems and can be quite sensitive to heat. What's more, they are more likely than other breeds to bloat, a condition in which the stomach distends with gas and can twist on itself cutting off blood flow, which can be deadly. Lastly, Rottweilers have a life expectancy of about 8 to 11 years. As with most purebred dogs, German Shepherds are at risk of certain conditions and illnesses. They have been bred over many years to look a certain way. For German Shepherds, this is most obvious in the shape of their back legs and hips. This means they are even more prone to both hip and elbow dysplasia, eventually leading to arthritis and or need for surgery. They can also be born with degenerative myelopathy, a condition that affects the spinal cord and worsens over time. Moreover, German Shepherds are known to contract a hereditary disease known as panis, which affects the cornea. Yet, with a healthy lifestyle, this breed will still live for about 10 to 13 years. However, with both of these breeds and the help of a vet, they can get over many health challenges, so you can live a wonderful life together for years to come. Number 8. The Cost of Ownership The most common way to get a Rottweiler is via a breeder. This is also the only way that you'll get one if you want a healthy puppy. But you should be aware that this is far more expensive than any other method. A Rottweiler from a breeder will routinely cost between $1,500 and $2,500, and one with a high pedigree can go for even more. The average monthly cost of a Rottweiler if the dog is healthy and fed high-quality food will probably have you spending around $150 a month. If the dog is poorly bred or has a chronic health condition, it can cost much more. Over a lifespan of 10 years, owning a Rottweiler costs about $18,000 on average. When it comes to German Shepherds, the average initial buying cost is $2,000 for a puppy. This may be a cost that's well worth it if the breeder is reputable, because they can screen for many of the most common health ailments. Like the Rottweiler, the cost can be much higher if any medical bills are involved. After that, the cost of keeping them can be around $100 per month. All in all, the lifetime cost of owning a German Shepherd over 10 years is around $14,000 when you take into account the price of the puppy plus all food and care expenses.